Hey Gemini, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection with another person in July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Seven of Cups crossed by the Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay. So I feel like you're being faced with a lot of different options. Um, or you just don't really know exactly what is going on or you don't know exactly what it is that you want to do and this is creating a lot of stress for you. Now again, of course this could be the other person, all right? But that's the situation here. Somebody is really confused in terms of something to do with this connection and yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard. They're having a difficult time through this. Let's see for your energy we have the 4 of wands the Empress, and the Chariot. Okay, so we do have Cancer's energy showing up here. There's a connection here um, that's really, really strong. Like, really strong. Um, I feel like there's a person here where you feel like, you know, this is your person, this is where you belong, this is where you want to be. And I, it's, it's interesting because I see you moving in that direction. I feel like you, you, you're wanting to take some initiative. You're wanting to do something about this. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see for them. We have the Page of Cups, the Hanging Man, and the Three of Cups. So the other person here, this is someone who has a lot of emotions for you as well. I feel like you, this is a very deep connection. You both want this. Um... I don't know which one of the two of you it is that is so confused or faced with options and being stressed about it because you're both wanting this. Um, however, I feel like they're holding back. They're holding back even though they do have emotions for you. And they do want the, they do want this. <laughs> Three of Cups. I mean, they want a reconciliation. They want things to be happy between the two of you. Let's see. Potential outcome, we have the Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's needing to make a decision. So something else is happening. Hopefully it will clear up a little bit when we clarify. Because you, like I said, you're both wanting this. Um, I feel like the other person is just taking a step back, probably, possibly waiting for something that is dependent on you. Unless the roles are reversed. So take the messages as they apply to you. All right, let's clarify. Let's see that Seven of Cups with the Nine of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot showing up again a second time. Okay, so we do have strong Cancer showing up. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with a Cancer. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be, but for some of you, it could be. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of passion, but it's like somebody is confused in terms of how, how to work this out. I feel like speed is also an issue for whoever it is that is confused here. Like on the one hand, they wanna make sure that things are done right. Um, I feel like they're, somebody is being overly cautious about, about this. Um, like more cautious than is, needed. It's like sometimes, you know, you just need to go for what it is that you feel, what, what you feel in your gut, what your intuition is telling you. Yes, it is good to be cautious, okay? It really depends on the situation, but there are times where sometimes we just need to go for something and not overthink it. And that's what I feel is the challenge for the person who is confused in this, in this dynamic here. Um, I feel like they have a fear of either losing control or if they go for what it is that they want <clears throat> that you know they're it's like they don't know what might come out of it what might happen um a fear of it just happening too fast for whatever reason and then losing control not really knowing 
what the outcome is going to be or what certain like side effects might be. <clears throat> okay, let's see for your energy. Let's see that Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're you're really feeling a push towards this. So I feel like that if this is you, let's just assume it's you who is confused here. I feel like a lot of that confusion is based on certain like illusions or maybe just some negative thought patterns that are playing out. Um, again, when it comes to either taking action or communicating or anything along those lines in terms of this connection that you feel so strongly about, I feel like you're, you're putting a lot of energy into thinking about it a lot, um, figuring out which way should I do this? Should I do it like this? Should I do it like that? Should I even do it at all? And it's like so much that it's like consuming you. Let's see the Empress. Five of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, so they have the Page of Cups down here. Um, yeah, I feel like this Empress is actually representing the, the other person here in this particular situation. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you know that this person has emotions for you or you know that this person is just very open um, emotionally or in terms of their feelings like th that they want this like you know that they want this and then that causes you to feel some sadness or some maybe even regret some guilt because of the confusion okay again I I'm just getting that it's you that's that's confused of course like I said the roles can be reversed okay it can't be the exact same for everybody and there are a lot of cross watchers as well. So it really depends. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting here, that you're you're aware of how the other person feels, you feel the same way, and it's that's creating a lot of sadness for you because I think again, this is you're feeling like this is your person and you don't want to hurt them. Um, but at the same time, you're having a hard time figuring something out, being overly cautious. Let's see the chariot. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay, so you, again, it's like, I feel like you're moving towards this person and I feel like you are getting like this really big push to move in some way towards this person. But again, there's this either a fear of heartbreak or a fear of the pain that might be attached to that for whatever reason, but I feel like you're still going for it. It's like you're leaning more towards movement rather than non-movement. So I do feel like you're going to move in that direction. <clears throat> now, for some of you, it could be that in order to move in that direction, you know, um, you have to either compromise something or you know, make some kind of a shift in, in another area of your life, which might create a little bit of discomfort. For some of you, that could be the case as well. And again, I feel like it, it just feels like you're still doing it, okay? Chances are that you will, but of course, free will, so it's up to you. But the universe, it seems, is helping you to move in that direction, whatever that direction is for you. I mean, for some of you, it could even be moving away from this connection. But for the most part, I'm seeing it as moving towards this. So let's see <clears throat> what's going on with the other person here. Let's see this Page of Cups. The High Priestess in the Tower. Okay, yeah. So this person, even though they have these emotions for you, like I said, they're holding back. They're not being um, open about it. So when I was saying before that they're open, it means that emotionally they are open but they're not expressing it okay they're there emotionally they're open it's like that door is open but they're not going to force you through it okay 
That's what I mean. They're not going to force you through it, but their door is open when you are ready. They're feeling like, you know, if they express themselves too soon when you're not ready, like that's just going to lead to disaster. So that's why they're choosing to hold back at the moment. Let's see <clears throat> the hanged man. The seven of pentacles and the devil. All right, so Capricorn. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn here. Um, it feels like as they're, you know, the fact that they're holding back and just kind of like waiting to, to see how this is all going to unfold, there's work happening behind this. And I feel like what it is, is, you know, they, they may have had some unhealthy behaviors or patterns, um, something that may have been toxic, maybe some attachments. And it's like, as they're waiting this out and just keeping back, at the same time, they're healing this. At the same time, they're making some progress in terms of whatever it was that was unhealthy for them. So even though it might feel like, yeah, you're confused, you know, you're, you might be overly cautious, maybe overthinking something, dealing with something um, in order to be able to sort some, this connection out and figure out what you're going to do, it's also serving a purpose for the other person. So there is a higher purpose behind it. It's like there's like this hidden lesson in it for the other person as well. Let's see the Three of Cups. <clears throat> the Hangs Man again. And the Seven of Cups. All right. Um, so they're wanting this reconciliation, as I said. But I feel like because when you come forward, like you're not because with the chariot and, and the knight of wands it's not like you're in a very stable kind of an energy i feel like you're still kind of you know you're carrying some kind of pain with you so whatever this is i feel like it's not like 100 percent going for it you're moving in that direction but it's like it's still a little bit shaky and the other person can pick up on that and so then that leaves them feeling a little bit confused and because of that they're still kind of holding back a little bit, not a lot, because they are open, um, but they're just not going to push for anything. They're not going to facilitate anything. It's like they're just there. They're just there, just waiting to see what's going on with you. You're coming in not 100% stable <clears throat> just yet. And so they're still kind of not, it's not even keeping a distance. It's just they're not going to push you. They're not going to push you. They're not going to force you through that door. Which is actually good. I feel like that's them <clears throat> having learned their lesson. Again, I feel like for a lot of you, the roles might be reversed in this one. Um, let's see the two of wands for the potential outcome. The hermit, okay, so Virgo. The Two of Cups and the Lovers, Gemini, there you are. All right. I mean, the love is here. The love is here. The love is here and I feel like it's just waiting. It's just waiting for both of you to have learned certain lessons, to have closed out certain cycles possibly. Um, there is still a little bit of like a waiting, but it's not like a painful waiting. It's not a painful waiting. It's more of like, okay, you know, we're getting closer and it's just a matter of going all the way. Lessons are still being learned. Um, I feel like there's still a little bit of, a little bit of distance between the two of you because you're each like figuring out your own issues. Um, like I said, this person is not going to, to push you. So it's going to have to be, you know, all you if this is what you want. They're open. They're there. Um, but something is dependent on you here. The love is here. The opportunity for this is here. I feel like the universe is um, helping as well. So, yeah. Gemini. 
interesting reading. Let's see. <clears throat> and definitely, yeah, there's a decision here. Um, and I do feel like it's on your end. All right, so Gemini, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's see the final message for you. And we have inner child. So this could be what it is that you are healing or what you are you know, needing to sort through. What might be creating this stress for you is something that is rooted in your inner child from your childhood years, some kind of a trauma possibly or some kind of a conditioning. So maybe that will help you a little bit to clear things up. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.